welcome back everyone and welcome to the SCO computer and today lecture is very interesting because we are going to use the some basic uh, not basic basically the most the most used tool in the RGS so, uh, and uh, it is very useful if you are draftman or the you are architect or the civil engineer we uh, and you have a drawing of AutoCAD and you want to import the data in a arc map or you did uh, some processing tasks in rgis and you want to perform the some uh, next step in autocad we, uh, then how you can uh, import and export the autocad data in a rgis and how you can do the same uh, in a autocad also for that purpose i am going to use the rgis uh, like and also the autocad software to perform this task so the first what will we do so we will add the uh, autocad data you know rgis so we have the uh, flowing data we have a cat file uh, that is extension it bw is basically the extension of autocad drawing and we also have the imagery imagery of the same location with uh, cat file uh, cat file we have uh, i basically prefer the uh, imagery i simply download the imagery from uh, any sources or we uh, export the imagery uh, of the same location because i don't prefer to work in the base map because it's a uh, very like time taking process to uh, load the base map or any data uh, which is the, like connected with any api uh, so what we will do we will first uh, import the cat file you know, of in uh, our imagery uh, yeah, sorry our map so we have the cat file uh, that the uh, dwg extension i'm going to add the dwg file so that is basically uh, uh, our cat file uh, that area is uh, of the Jalo district of Rajasthan town and if you look into that um, uh, drawing and compare with the imagery uh, of that location so you can see the some similarity between that image and uh, Uh, that image and the drawing file uh, as you can see there is some uh, uh, blank area like and places uh, here and here also which is in that image and that area so what we'll do we'll take the reference of a few image a few points and we'll try to uh, give a coordinate of that drawing file so whenever we add the data, uh, basically adding the data of uh, all the drawing data set uh, that point for uh, for uh, for line polygon multi patch. So basically we need only the polygon uh, poly, uh, polygon uh, data. So what we have to do, we have to export that data. So I'm just exporting the data. Right click, go to data.
because you first have to i uh, like uh, identify the area you can directly search coordinate from here or you can import the cml file uh, what i'm trying to say is like if you have the uh, cml file of that area then uh, you can directly add that cml file uh, in the arc map and then you have to add the map. Uh, like you can uh, refer out the my previous videos of that where uh, that are just read uh, like uh, when we are doing the peer processing task we basically get the same task so uh, that way we can add the imagery and we'll try to uh, bring the our layout in uh, into the imagery imagery will basically have a so uh, we are just trying to uh, move the our layout and place it into the uh, image. So, the, that purpose we need to start directly. So, when you start directly, adjustment tool uh, into the arc map if your special adjustment tool is like disabled then you can uh, use this uh, go to the uh, uh, new arc map create the new arc map and uh, then uh, import the imagery first or the camel file first if you have the camel file and uh, then uh, add the drawing file because sometimes what happens like whenever we uh, do the task I and mean, we try to uh, add, uh, add, add the drawing file first then drawing file doesn't have any projection associated with that uh, so we face issue while doing the special adjustment so basically what is a special adjustment a special adjustment is a thing which have ability to import the cat file into the arc map which we are trying to do we are uh, and the the one more on the most important part about the special adjustment like if we have the two data sets of uh, of the different projection but the data set of the same location having the different projection and we are uh, we, what we can do we can simply uh, uh, like change the projection of the one data and sometimes what happened like it still the changing the projection we did not uh, match the two data set together so that uh, in that time we can do the uh, special adjustment of the vector data uh, and uh, we can uh, like uh, uh, adjust the that both data set together there is a lot of way to doing the special adjustment the first one the edge map so you have simply the uh, simplest one and the we require a three adjustment uh, three adjustment point uh, to do this uh, there's two type of edge snap uh, the first one is smooth and the second one is line the line edge snap option move only the vertex uh, connected to source point while the smooth edge snap option move the vertex connected to the source point as well as remaining vertex of the feature to the key. give an over smooth impact so that is basically one of the most used uh, uh, special adjustment method. The second one is the transform uh, method that moves data from one coordinate system to another. Although this method is most commonly used to transform data from this digital or scanner unit to real world coordinate. So uh, that what we will do in uh, this lecture. Uh, there is like three type of uh, doing a transform of the uh, data the first one is affine we will use the affine in this lecture uh, it's required a three displacement link and can scale sq and rotate and uh, translate the data and we have another method that similarity transformation 
uh, which rotate and uh, translate some data but will not introduce this to and or rescale the access. It required a minimum of the two division, uh, displacement length. The third one is a projective transformation and uh, we also use the troubleshooting. Troubleshooting is uh, like uh, is the name it suggests. It's the type of rubber. We simply uh, like this trace the data to match with the data. It, sometimes it's very important, but it, doing the rubber shooting is sometimes like uh, creating a topological error. Topological error is a mathematical function which shows the every uh, feature individual. So what actually happened with the rubber shooting? Uh, we sometimes face the issue of the overlap and the gap of the circuit. So basically, if you have the data set of the same location, uh, I'll suggest to go with the uh, a fine transformation method, which is the uh, like uh, the best method of the doing the specialization. So let's directly drive into the arc map and do the specialization. The first thing you require to do, you require to select the data and we have to uh, click on the new displacement link tool so uh, we have to select the three point, uh, point to uh, do the affine, affine method so just uh, look into the, your drawing, uh, drawing file and identify the some three points next year you select the three points in a three different location like my meter so if you are taking the one point here one point here and then one point here then you will change the issue so best thing is that you take the point of the uh, at least the three corner of the drawing so let's go to imagery and try to find out the any area so we are going to uh, take the first point of the that back end plane so first thing you required to do to Click on the drawing file first, then go to the imagery, right click to there, then click on the image, then do the same task for the other location. So we have taken the first point in the uh, upper part and we should. Uh, to uh, like uh, take the second point in some other part so i am going to use uh, that area click on the third point so we should select in the eastern part of the uh, drawing file Let's try to identify the drawing hull first. So there is one road like creating a three point here and uh, one road after just one road. Just go and verify the one road just after one road. So this is a three point here. So basically, we'll take the reference of this point. Now we have selected the three point, and then after after selecting, make sure you have verified the three point properly. Then click on the adjust. So I think uh, we have selected the uh, all the points correctly. So you have uh, we have to go to the specialization point. Then before going to uh, click on the adjust, make sure you have selected the right uh, method. Uh, I have already explained all these methods. I'm selecting the uh, affine method here, and uh, you can uh, check your drawing. By doing the three, click on the three. So it seems, seems good. Then click on the adjustment and click on. Adjustment. So now uh, 
our drawing is perfectly set to the MHD. You can verify each and every file. If you have any issue, then uh, just go to the control Z and remove any link if you want. Right click on the view link table and you can remove the any of the link. So this way we can uh, import the get file into the RGIS environment. Then click on editor and check the projection first. If they have taken the projection from the date of time, then you know it to uh, give the projection again. So in this case they have automatically selected the projection if it, uh, it is undefined written in your, in your drawing then go to the catalog and from catalog select the set value and right click on properties and check change that for uh, projection of the drawing. now we have imported the cat file in our GIS now we are going to export into the drawing file for doing this, right click data, then click on export to CAD. Select your location first. Giving the name of your file, and if you are uh, using the some older version, then select on uh, select on uh, output type and select the version you are using. Uh, it is like uh, we are using the RGIS of 10.8, so it is showing till the 2018. So we are going to select 2018. And click on form. And after so it uh, converted into the DWG format, then go to the, your get then add that drawing Export to CAD now. So, uh, from this way, you can import your save file into the AutoCAD. Uh, you can do the any task like uh, uh, giving the dimension of every float you can do here also and uh, you if you want to make a layout here or do any other tasks you can uh, do in your okay for uh, exporting into the set file it is like available in the some of the AutoCAD uh, software like here you just go to the map data analysis oh, sorry. go to the map drafting and from map drafting click on import and export then click export select 
select any location from the file tag select the save file format that SSP is basically a save file format that is the save file And after that, just select the layer. The layer is this one, two and five. Object type, and then click. On. Then, uh, make sure you select the polygon here. If any data associated with that drawing file, it will it will be shown here. Then click on OK. Then, on this way, you can import the data file into the step file. So that's it for uh, today lecture. The scope computer basically organizing the uh, courses not only for the GIS also also for the survey part. If you want to learn the drafting of AutoCAD and uh, want to do the GPS or the GPS survey, then you can contact from the given is mobile number. So that's it for today lecture. I'll see you next time.